Our lesson for today is all about proportion. In this lesson, you will use the knowledge you have learned in the previous grade about ratio. Now, we are going to study the proportion and its properties. When we say proportion, it is an equation that equates two ratios is a proportion. For instance, if the ratio A over B is equal to the ratio C over D, then the following proportion can be written as A over B is equal to C over D. The numbers A and D are the extremes of the proportion. The numbers B and C are the means of the proportion. For the fundamental rule of proportion, if A is to B is equal to C is to D, then A over B is equal to C over D, provided that A, B, C, and D are real numbers and A, B, C, and D are not equal to zero. Now, let's proceed to the properties of proportion. We have the multiplication property. So if A over B is equal to C over D, then AD is equal to CD. This means the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. Next, we have the alternation property. If A over B is equal to C over D, then A over C is equal to B over D. Next, we have the reciprocal property. If A over B is equal to C over D, then B over A is equal to D over C. It means that if two ratios are equal, then their reciprocals must also be equal as long as they exist. Next, we have the addition property. If A over B is equal to C over D, then A plus B over B is equal to C plus D over D. Next, we have the inverse property. If E over F is equal to A over B is equal to C over D, then E plus A plus C over F plus B plus D is equal to K, where K is a constant of proportionality. Now, let's proceed to the solving problems involving proportion. Now, let's study the examples on how to determine indicated quantities from a given proportion. So, for number 1, let's find the value of X in 2 is to 4 is equal to 8 is to x. So, we need to have our solution. First step, let's write the equation. So therefore, we have 2 over, x, 2 over 4 is equal to 8 over x. After that, let's apply the fundamental rule of proportion. So we have 2 times x is equal to 4 times 8. So 2 times x is 2x is equal to 4 times 8 is equal to 32. Next, let's apply the multiplication property of equality by multiplying both sides of the equation by 1 half. So we have 2x times 1 half. We have 2x over 2. And 32 times 1 half we have 32 over 2. So, let's proceed now. Let's find out the value of x. So, 2x divided by 2, we have 1x or x, and 32 divided by 2 is equal to 16. So, therefore, the value of x is 16. Next, let's proceed to example number 2. Let's solve for x in the proportion 6 is to 2 is equal to x is to 3. Again, for our first step, let's write the equation. 
So we have 6 over 2 is equal to x over 3. And af after that, let's apply the fundamental rule of proportion. So we have 6 times 3 is equal to 2 times x. So 6 times 3 is 18 and 2 times x is 2x. And after that, let's apply the multiplication property of equality by multiplying both sides of the equation by 1 half so that we can find the value of x. So 2x times 1 half is 2x over 2. And 18 times 1 half, we have 18 over 2. Next, let's divide. So 2x divided by 2 is 1x or x. And 18 divided by 2 is 9. So therefore, x is equal to 9. Or 9 is equal to x. Next, z plus 1 over 2z plus 3 is equal to 2 over 3. So for this example, let's find the value of z because that is the unknown value. So from this, let's write the original equation. So we have z plus 1 over 2z plus 3 is equal to 2 over 3. And after this, let's apply the fundamental rule of proportion. So we have z plus 1 times 3, or 3 times z plus 1, is equal to 2 times 2z plus 3. And after that, let's use the distributive property. So 3 times the quantity of z plus 1, we have 3z plus 3, is equal to 2 times the quantity of 2z plus 3, we have 4z plus 6. And after that, let's apply the addition property of equality by adding 3z and 6 both sides of the equation. So therefore, we will have 3z minus 3z plus 3 minus 6 is equal to 4z minus 3z plus 6 minus 6. So, let's combine similar terms. So, 3z minus 3z, we have 0 or we can cancel that. And then, 3 minus 6, we have negative 3. Next, 4z minus 3z, we have z. And 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. So, the remaining variable will be z. So, therefore, the answer is z is equal to negative 3 or negative 3 is equal to z. Now, let's proceed for number 4. So, if y is to z is equal to 4 is to 3, let's find 3y minus 2z is to 3y plus z. So, again, let's write first the equation. So, from this example, we need to find first the val we need to find first the value of y so that we need we need first our first equation so the our first equation from this example will be y over z is equal to 4 over 3 and after that let's apply the fundamental rule of proportion so y times 3 or 3 times y is 3y is equal to z times 4 or 4 times z is equal to 4c and after and after that let's apply the multiplication property of equality by multiplying both sides of the equation by one third so 3y times one third is 3y over 3 and then 4z times 1 third, we have 4z over 3. And next, let's divide so that we can find the value of y. So 3y divided by 3 is 1y or y. And since we cannot divide 4z by 3, so therefore, the value of y is equal to 4z over 3. 
Now, for our second proportion. So, let's write 3y minus 2z over 3y plus z. And now, for this, let's substitute the value of y in the second proportion and simplify. So, again, so since the value of our y is 4z over 3, let's substitute that to our second proportion. So, we will have now 3 times 4z over 3 minus 2z over 3 times 4z over 3 plus z. Let's solve first our numerator. 3 times 4z over 3, we have 12z over 3 and then bring down minus 2z. And for our denominator, 3 times 4z over 3 plus z, we have 12z over 3 plus z. Next, for our numerator, since we can, we can divide 12 by 3, so 12 divided by 3 or 12z divided by 3, we will have now 4z and then copy minus 2z. And for our denominator, since we can divide also the 12 by 3, so 12z divided by 3 plus z, we will have 4z plus z. And after that, let's combine similar terms. So 4z minus 2z, we have 2z. And 4z plus z, we have 5z. Since we can simplify this, so we can cancel z. So therefore, the answer is 2 over 5. So therefore, 3y minus 2z is to 3y plus z is equal to 2 over 5 or 2 is to 5. I hope you understand our lesson for today which is proportion. Thank you for watching.